hey y'all welcome back to my channel so today is monday and it's almost nine o'clock and i honestly wasn't thinking about cleaning today but miss luna tyler let her out before he went to work this morning and she must not have been out long enough but i mean she came to the door so he thought she was done and she pooped on the floor well, she must have had little poops on the on the rug and Tyler missed it because um, I ended up stepping in it with my slipper, thank God. <laughs> but it got tracked on the carpet. So now I need to shampoo the carpet. So well, let's start shampooing. Okay, so real fast, I told you our kitchen table is cluttered, but I wanna show you some things that we picked up this weekend. We did go to Marshall's and I think this bag here, we're actually gonna take back. I don't think I'm really gonna show you any of that stuff, but we did go to Michael's also. And I got some cardstock. They did have cardstock on sale. So I got a few different types of colors. And then I got like, a whole black one there because I want to do a DIY with that for Halloween which I'm sure just saying black and Halloween you already know and then we picked up these candles here we got the pumpkin pie we got a snickerdoodle and uh, rustic leather and we also got one more let me grab it and then we got this flannel and football and uh, we have had this burning the past two days now and i gotta be honest with you we don't smell anything so i'm hoping that we smell something from these ones they all smell so good smelling them out of the candle but as far as having them lit we don't smell anything and actually i got a dollar general candle that smelled so good it was like syrup and waffles or something like that but had it lit never smelled anything so i think i'm just going to stick to walmart candles because i've always had the best luck with those and then we found this seed they had these on sale so i just thought this was super cute and this could be out like all year round i personally feel like and then this too they had halloween stuff on sale and we don't have much halloween stuff so i kind of wanted to pick up something and this is actually the only piece that we got because it was pretty picked over. So there's that. And then Tyler got a couple shirts um, to put vinyl on. And then I had to get some transfer tape. There's transfer tape that I got from Hobby Lobby. The worst transfer tape ever. So I'm trying to redo a sign right here from 
Um, this was in Watson's old room at the old house and it was ripping up the paint and it actually would tear my vinyl too. And it's not the first project that it would do that on. The worst transfer taper, transfer tape ever. I will put at the bottom what it's called because I can't remember right now, but I did go on the Hobby Lobby website and look at reviews. Everybody was saying the same thing. The worst transfer tape ever. So do not buy that. And then we did get Watson a few Christmas gifts. Yes, already picking out things for Christmas. And we got this here. We just saw all these that I'm going to show you would be super fun for him to do. And he loves to play with rocks and stuff, so we thought that would be super cute. And then of course, you know, dinosaurs. I'm trying not to show him because he's actually laying on the couch right now. And I need to take these all upstairs. But he has not much to do at all. And then there's this dino egg one, which I know he will love this one for sure. He loves dinosaur eggs. They have dinosaur egg bath bombs, which I've showed before in my previous videos. He loves those. And then we got this one here, shark teeth, how super fun. So I definitely think he's going to love every single one of these and it will be something fun for him to do. We actually found like a few more that we wanted, but we were trying not to go overboard, but yeah, that's everything that we picked up. I'm actually going to go ahead and set this here on the steps so when I go upstairs I will take them up there go. <laughs> so I'm literally like not motivated to do anything and I am really just wanting some like to make like a crock pot meal um, that just sounds delicious to me and so easy. So I'm going to also run to the Dollar Tree and see if there's anything like Halloween-ish that maybe I can find. I do have a few things downstairs, but um, yeah, I kind of just want to run there and see if there's anything left. I'm sure there's probably nothing left, honestly. <laughs> and then run to Walmart and um, pick up some groceries for this car meal. you know, so. We're gonna get changed and then head out. Okay, so I wanna show you everything we got. I ended up going to Walmart and Dollar Tree. So I'll show you what all we got from the Dollar Tree. We ended up, well, I ended up picking out this mug. So it's got the first initial of our last name on it. And I thought that was a pretty decent sized mug, which Tyler's probably going to kill me because he keeps telling me not to pick up any more mugs. And then I got some eyeballs. We picked out this rat. Some spider webbing, and it actually has like spiders in it. And then I found these um, hot and cold iPads. And then this beware sign. And then I ended up picking up two of these. Whoa, what are you doing, guy? Picking up two of these skull um, things. I think it's all, yeah, it's, it's, it's skeleton garland. So I'm thinking about wrapping these two together and stringing it along maybe the buffet or the entryway table. I am not sure yet, but, and then from Walmart, oh, I did pick up this too. This little carpet freshener from the Dollar Tree. And then Walmart, of course, Watson got a couple of things. That's dinosaur and it's got the matching pants to it. So I just thought that was a cute sweatsuit. And then a pair of pajamas, more dinosaurs, matching pants. And then I picked up this sweatsuit here and it's got the matching pants, obviously. And I'm thinking about he loves Triceratops, 
and I'm thinking about putting um, a Triceratops head on this maybe or just the like a dino like a, the Triceratops dinosaur I'm not sure yet um, I'll have to see what I can find but putting something like that on there for him and then I love candy corn. I know a lot of people don't like candy corn. Tyler don't like candy corn. I do. And I was watching a YouTuber and she said that somebody told her to add peanuts to them. So I picked up some peanuts. These are seasoned with sea salt and they said it was super good. You know, the salty and sweet. And then I did pick up this jar from Dollar Tree too. I don't think I showed that, but Walmart, we got milk. I picked up two packs of these spiders and then we got two skulls and then I found this here and it actually lights up so I thought that was cool and then we got some of these donuts because cravings so and then I got him a few random lunchables he's been seeming to love those and he is an extremely picky eater so if he's going to eat differently then that's perfectly fine with me and then for the recipe I want to do, I had to pick up these frozen tortellinis. I picked up some sausage and then some chicken broth. And I have the rest of the ingredients in the fridge, so I didn't worry about getting anything else. But I'm going to start putting this stuff away and probably put my sweatpants back on. Okay, so I got my sausage in here and then I'm going to add a cube of cream cheese. And then I don't know how it happened, but I missed over that you're supposed to have Italian tomatoes, but you know, good old Rotel. So we just won't tell Tyler that I messed up yet another recipe. But I mean, if you doctor it up, it's your own, right? We'll go with it. So I'm putting two things in there. And because I forgot the Italian tomatoes, I'm going to throw some Italian seasoning in there. A bit. And then, y'all, I have been loving this seasoning. So anytime that I get the chance to do Italian, I just throw some of this in there. And it is just, I don't even know how to explain the flavor. That's just so good. And then we are going to add a, what is this, a jug, a box of chicken broth. You can use vegetable broth also, but I just went ahead and got the chicken and we're just gonna pour this whole thing in there. And then I actually have a bell pepper that needs to be um, used. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that out of the fridge, get it chopped up and put in here also. Okay, my bell pepper is all cut up. So I'm just going to put all this in here. And y'all, look at this. Was my bell pepper growing a bell pepper inside of it? <laughs> I've never seen that before. So now I'm just going to try and stir this up some. And then we are going to put it on, I think it's four hours, but I'm going to cook it on low for eight hours. Okay, so I am preheating the oven for this garlic bread here. I'm going to be getting that ready, but this looks and smells delicious. And I am just going to go ahead and add the rest of this. I'm going to add this bag of tortellini and then all of that spinach. This is three to four cups, which I'm just gonna honestly add the rest of that. So I'm going to get this in here.
morning. It is the next day. It's a little after 1030 and I've just, uh, again, not been feeling it. So yeah, I am going to just go ahead and start cleaning the house and try and keep it clean this week. <laughs> so yeah, let's uh, get started. We're going to start here in the kitchen, do some dishes, of course and wipe everything down and then move on to the next room. up real fast and then put the dishes in the dishwasher. Okay, so the kitchen is cleaned. Now let's clean off this dining room table. Okay, so now I'm going to clean up my son's room and then sweep and mop the whole house. Okay, now that his room is all cleaned, I am going to sweep and mop the house now.
Okay, y'all, so that's gonna be it for today. Surprisingly, every room has stayed clean so far. Usually when I go room to room, the last room that I cleaned is already destroyed. I don't know how that happens. But as you can see, little man is sleeping, so I got done cleaning just in time. So now I'm going to go sit down on the couch and relax with him. But I hope this giving you guys some motivation to get some things done around your house, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.